I think this was one of the other ways in which the 2020 election was a disturbing signal of potentially what is to come. And we saw there were real efforts by former President Trump and his allies and surrogates to, to put pressure on those involved in the vote counting process. There was a dramatic moment in Michigan where those responsible for a real ministerial act in terms of certifying the results suggested that, well, perhaps they weren't gonna certify the election results in Wayne County and in Detroit in particular. Um, and I think even went so far as to say, well, maybe we could certify the rest of the county and not Detroit for no legitimate reason uh, whatsoever. And so this was a real disturbing, real disturbing change. I think that, I guess I'd wanna go back to something that, that Michael said, which is that, and to something that, that you were just talking about as well, which is that there actually are provisions of the Voting Rights Act of 1965 that happily we have not had to rely on as much in recent years that are relevant here as well. And actually one of the lawsuits that the Legal Defense Fund filed towards the end of the 2020 election was a lawsuit actually against former President Trump in light of what happened in Michigan, saying that this effort to sort of thwart the will of the voters through the certification process or the vote counting process was a denial of the right to vote protected by the Voting Rights Act and a denial of Section 11B of the Voting Rights Act. So all that is to say, without getting into the details of each specific state law, I do think these laws are very concerning. I do think, though, it's important for us to all be clear that the notion that the state legislature, you know, sort of has un, um, untrammeled power here is not true. And as long as every state continues to say that and have laws that they are going to choose presidential electors based on the outcome of the popular vote, I think it would be a violation of both the federal constitution and the Voting Rights Act for uh, some state after the fact to just say, well, you know, we're not happy with the results, so we're not going to count the votes fairly. So just absolutely something to be incredibly focused on and looking into. But I do think that there are important federal laws at play that we should not lose sight of as well. <laughs>